Hey guys, if you're shopping around for any adapters as an add-on for your MacBook, you're likely considering the one port USB-C to A adapter or the multi-port digital AV adapter. Uh, since the new MacBooks only come with two or three Thunderbolt 3 ports, you might want to add a few. So today I'll be discussing the pros and cons for these two adapters and hopefully make your purchase decision a little easier. So let's first discuss the price. The USB-C to USB-A adapter from Apple is actually quite expensive compared to other adapters from third-party stores, um, but it's still a lot cheaper here in Canada at $25 compared to more expensive $85 digital AV multi-port adapter. But in the US, that would still be $20 for the USB-C to A adapter and $70 for the multi-port adapter from, App from the Apple store. Um, so if you're on a smaller budget, you might want to consider the USB-C to A. And if you're willing to spend an extra uh, 50 to $60 for the extra ports, um, then the multi-port would be the better choice. Okay, so next, I want to talk about ports. Um, the digital AV multi-port adapter has three ports, as you can see over here. Um, it's got a USB-A port. If you want to connect any flash drive such as this one, um, and you can also uh, charge your iPhone with a USB-A to lightning port, lightning cable, and you can connect that with the USB-A port over here. And there's an HDMI port. Um, if you have an HDMI cable like this one, you can uh, plug that in here and connect it with your TV or a, um, a monitor to extend your display or you can uh, mirror your display. And there's also a, another USB-C port over here, uh, just in case you need another one. The multi-port adapters got probably the three most useful ports. Well, unfortunately, the USB-C to A only has one port. Yet, there's still an advantage you get in, the, uh, get in this adapter. Um, what I found was that I could only charge my phone with, with my MacBook's 61-watt um, power adapter using the USB-C to A adapter and not with the digital AV multi-port adapter. I'm not sure if the USB-C to A is compatible with USB power delivery for a faster charge. And I haven't tried checking how fast it charges my on my iPhone, but it does charge the phone perfectly fine. And I'll show you what I mean. So sorry for the video and audio quality. I'm using a different device to shoot this. Um, but I have the uh, multi-port adapter connected to um, the 61 watt um, power adapter from my, from my MacBook and I also have the USB A to lightning cable to make this compatible and I'm going to plug this in to see if it charges and as you can see nothing happened it's not charging now I'm going to be using um, the USB C to A adapter connected with the same um, lightning to USB cable and I'm going to plug it into my phone And it works it's being charged so in conclusion while both these adapters have their own purposes the multi-port adapter is a lot more functional and capable of doing certain tasks like mirroring your screen to a monitor but the single ports got its advantages too it's a lot more subtle and a lot less expensive so I hope this video gave you a better understanding of these two adapters let me know in the comments if you end up buying one of these and which one you got and lastly don't forget to like and subscribe and support the channel and I'll see you later.